Welcome back to Grand Adventure. I'm your host, Mark Guido. In today's kitchen table trip, we're going to revisit our trip this past September to the historic mining town of Silverton, deep in Colorado's spectacular San Juan Mountains. So stay tuned for a preview of your own upcoming Grand Adventure to Silverton. Now, as its name implies, Silverton is a former mining town buried deep in southwestern Colorado San Juan Mountains. Known as America's Alps, the San Juans are rugged spires reaching over 14,000 feet in the sky. The San Juans are an unspoiled Colorado with fewer visitors and less development than one will find elsewhere in the Colorado Rockies. Now, Silverton is accessed from either Uray to the north or Durango to the south via US 550, also known as the Million Dollar Highway, which is part of the San Juan Skyway, Scenic Byway. Now, some say that name is thanks to the Million Dollar Views, while others assert its name for the cost per mile it took to build the road. We traveled south on US 550 from Ure, and while the road does indeed have sharp curves, steep 8% grades, and precipitous drop-offs without guardrails or any shoulders, it should be no problem to negotiate for any RVer used to serious mountain driving. Just north of Silverton, the Million Dollar Highway crosses Red Mountain Pass, the site of an historic silver boom from 1882 until 1893, including the Yankee Girl, National Bell, and Guston Mines. We stopped here for a picnic lunch from our trailer's kitchen and to explore some old abandoned mine buildings. Just two miles west of town at the bottom of Red Mountain Pass, Forest Road 585 leads to several dry camping possibilities. The Kendall Campground was full, but dispersed camping was empty at the Sultan and Anvil designated sites on either side of Mineral Creek. All spots are free and lack any amenities. This is designated boondocking. We found only a buttoned up tent at the Sultan camping area, which hadn't been occupied for some days. So we set up camp there right on the banks of the bubbling Mineral Creek. Downtown Silverton is lovingly preserved, but not overly developed. Few streets other than the main drag of Green Street are actually paved, including the notorious Blair Street a block away that was once home to Silverton's brothels and gambling dens. Silverton was once very prosperous, and a fun fact is that it was actually only the second city in the U.S. to get one 10-volt AC electrical service. And at the northeastern end of town, you'll find the San Juan County Historical Society, which houses an excellent museum containing the Mining Heritage Center and the 1902 Town Jail. Silverton is also the northern terminus of the famed Durango and Silverton Narrow Gauge Railroad, which has carried passengers on a nine hour round trip along the Animas River from Durango to Silverton since 1882. It runs from May through October each summer season. East of town, the Old Hundred Gold Mine Tour allows you to experience what gold mining in the area was like. The one hour guided mine tour takes you a third of a mile into the heart of 13,000 foot Galena Mountain, where you can follow the vein and see real mining equipment in action. The mine was founded in 1872 by three German brothers and was mined until the gold ran out in 1908. It was revived in the 1960s but six million dollars and five miles a tunnel later, no new gold veins were found. Patricia, who's claustrophobic, stayed in camp with the dogs. I bought a ticket for the 11 a.m. tour, and when it came time to board the electric mine train to enter the drift into the mountain, I was the only customer standing for my own private tour. The tour is like exploring a mining museum set up one third of a mile into a mountain. But it was a real working mine at one time, and my guide was a retired miner, so it's the real deal. It's worthy of 1895 and an hour of your time in Silverton. Okay. 
Silverton is also the start of the Alpine Loop Scenic Byway, a 65-mile system of dirt roads and jeep trails that connect the small San Juan mountain towns of Lake City and Ure with Silverton. We followed the Alpine Loop to the mining ghost town of Animus Forks at a lofty elevation of 11,200 feet. The road to Animus Forks is rough, but negotiable with any reasonable high clearance 4x4, as it's not difficult off-road driving. Jeep rentals are available from several outfitters in Silverton. Animus Forks became a bustling mining community in the mid-1870s and even had its own short-lived newspaper. Mining quickly declined, however, and despite a brief resurgence in 1904, mining in Animus Forks was abandoned almost as quickly as it started. The nine remaining buildings have been stabilized and restored, including the town jail. The BLM provides interpreter brochures and maps at an adjacent parking area. Frankly, we can't wait to get back to Silverton, and we're sure that you'll like a visit this summer to this tiny San Juan mountain community too. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and share this with your friends and family to inspire them to visit Silverton. And if you're not yet one of our grand adventurers, why not? Subscribe to our channel to ensure that you catch every episode. The easiest way is right here on the screen, but you can also use the subscribe button on our YouTube channel. You can also find us on the web at grandadventure.tv. And until next time, remember, life is nothing but a grand adventure. We'll see you soon.